Hi, right, Bob here. This is uh, 20, uh, 18th day of, of uh, January 2020. Uh, I'm using the iMac without any uh, additional microphone, just using the computer mic. So we'll do just a little bit of this warm up that I got from uh, the Zero Point Guitar James Watts book. Success today. Very weak if, uh, without that third finger. Very weak. So. Ah. Strong, strong. It takes a long time. Anyway, so that's it. But I'll leave it right there. I got something else to show you. All right, here's a uh, single uh, note from the uh, open low E string. Uh, and uh, here is the uh, near Helmholtz resonation. It pushes against the uh, air outside the guitar, and that uh, so it's a, does a uh, kind of a dominoes effect. The uh, molecules themselves do not move differently uh, very much, but they move back and forth in a very small amount, and that that's the wave. Uh, let's do let's do this. The way there's the fundamental wavelength. Stop that any way we want. There we go. Go back. Now this is the octave. It's a, the way I have it, and I don't think anybody else has it this way, and maybe it's not the right way, is you, you get a uh, alternating high and low uh, frequency uh, combination there. And here's the uh, octave combined to the fundamental. Go there now. Let's see what else. I have some more ideas on this over at the Fret Math Guitar and Physics vid at 447. Here's the link. I'll put that all down below as well, so you can click on it if you're so interested and inclined. And uh, it's all simplified the way I've got it uh, for a general audience. Uh, uh, these two sites here should give you more detailed uh, and correct and correct uh, kind of scientific animations. However, uh, my concern is the general audience. Somebody, uh, somebody, everybody can understand it you know, the way the visual is going, and uh, that's the general idea from I got from Bernowski almost almost 50 years ago. Uh, the idea that the general public should have an understanding of what the basic science is, without having to do all the detailed calculations. Now, I tried to do a bit more geometrically correct kind of uh, animation, but it uh, just didn't work. I'll show you. This is a Fourier circle for an octave, uh, the way I figure it anyway. And I just took the red dot and I put it here. And what I'm going to do is treat that red dot as a particle of air. I'm going to treat the particle of air as a collection of uh, smaller ideal gas molecules all in motion. And I used uh, 23 phases. One phase would look like this. And about three cycles here. Okay, here's the red dot again. Uh, I'm going to eliminate that background. And when you substitute the collection of molecules, you get something like this. The trouble is it goes sort of backwards. Phase 2 is before phase 1. Phase 3 is the position before phase 2. I'll show you what I mean. It goes circle. The circle is uh, counter, uh, counterclockwise. And the phases are sort of clockwise. And with all 23 phases in sequence, but with a lot of guesswork as to the size and position of everything, I did get two different size pressure waves moving left to right. But it's awful garbled looking and would take a lot of tweaking and inconclusively. So what I ended up using is maybe more of a cartoon than a scientific demonstration. But uh, my concern, again, is the general audience. 
and they are not likely to hang around for a course in mathematical physics. Uh, I, I use references to more scientific sites and let them, if they do, they can go there. And we still got, I guess, two or three years before we find out whether Bernowski's uh, prediction here was going to be valid or not. But uh, this is about as far as I can go right now. I'll see what else I can do later.